For the past couple of years, we've created a free starter pack for DaVinci Resolve that contains over 200 assets to help you get started with video editing. No matter if you're a complete beginner or a veteran editor, we've included staple tools that are both easy to use and look great right out of the box. The best part is we're updating the pack with new assets every single month, and it's completely free. In this video, I would like to show you how to install the pack and the font included, what assets are available in the pack, and how to get the most out of them to create better videos. So if you're ready, let's jump right into it. All right, so you can download the starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. Just enter your email and you will be able to download it. And every month we will send you new update to the pack. Once you've downloaded the pack, you can just double click on the zip file to unzip it. Then in the folders, you're going to find a couple of things. You get a license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install all the font. Otherwise, the title will not work because DaVinci doesn't know what font to use. So to install the font, just select all of them. And then you can just double click on them to start the installation process. Or you can just drag and drop them into your font folder. Again, very important that you do this. Otherwise, you will get a black screen like so and you will not be able to use the titles. In case you're simply doing an update, there is no need to reinstall the font since they are already installed on your computer. You will just need to double click on the DRFX file. So now let's just install the pack. Let's double click on it to install it. It will just prompt open that window. If you already have it installed and that's just an update, you just select overwrite. Otherwise, if that's the first time you're installing it, it will offer you to install. Just select that. Once in DaVinci Resolve, in the edit page, you can find all your assets under effect in either title or effect. So here, let's go over to title, video studio, and then we're gonna just scroll down to free starter pack. And as you can see here, we have multiple categories. We have some gradient background. We got clean motion 2.0, essential icons, infographics, pointer, social media, and styled text. So let's just go over quickly what is in the pack. The first category is 36 gradient background. So it's basically 36 pre-animated gradient background that you can use as a background for your video. Then we have Clean Motion 2.0 that has basically a bunch of different text animation that you can use for your video. They are very simple, but very neat and practical. Then we have Essential, which contain anything ranging from some callouts, counter, bullet points, loader. There is really a lot of different assets in it that you're gonna come back to and use over and over in your video because they are just staple, classic. We've made them very neutral, so they are easy to use and they are fitting any project. Then we have icons across 12 different categories, including business, contact, design, etc. There are basically a list of different icons that you can use to represent whatever you want on screen. Each of the different 12 icon category contain 12 individual icons that you can select through a drop down. Then we have some infographic to help you display data on screen very easily in a neat and organized way. Then we have some pointer to help your viewer focus on what matters in your video. If you want to highlight a specific part of your video or object or anything on screen, then we have social media lower third to help you display your social media, ask people to subscribe to your YouTube channel or to your Instagram. And then we have some unique styled text with a bunch of different look that can help your video stand out. We're always experimenting with new animation and generally that's how we come up with those styled text. So you have those eight different categories in titles, but that's not only it. You also have a bunch of different things available here under effect in Video Studio. And then here we can find the free start pack. And you have at the moment five additional effects that you can use, including or auto animation, some exclusion effect, glass effect, icon mask, and phone effects. But again, we are planning on adding more effect in the future. On the channel, some of those effects and titles have a dedicated video where I go in depth on how to use them. But right now, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what you can build and basically the common functionality that all those titles share. Right now, I'm gonna start by bringing a new gradient in my timeline. So I'm gonna bring here Celestial, drag that in, and then we're gonna start by extending our background to give it some space. If for whatever reason here, you're getting a lot of aliasing, meaning some bar stretching across the background, just toggle the background movement on and off and that should disappear. Now if we play it, as you can see, we have a slight animation on the background. It's basically rotating. I'm gonna start by then bringing a text. So I'm gonna go over to 
clean motion 2.0 and here i'm gonna bring the back in down and i'm gonna drag that again in my timeline right above my background as you can see right here when i have my title selected in the inspector, I have all the parameters that I can modify. Those parameters may vary depending on the type of asset that you bring in and also how old or how new the asset is because we're learning, you know, every day and we're improving on the assets that we're creating. So there is functionality that were not available or not possible to do prior to, for example, DaVinci Resolve 19 that we've just recently started to create. And that's gonna continue to be the case as DaVinci Resolve is evolving and progressing through DaVinci Resolve 20, 21, 22, so on and so forth. A common parameter that you will see, however, is here functionality about the animation. So right now the animation in is about one second meaning that it's taking one second for the animation to fully complete. We can control that here and choosing to reduce that animation time by, for example, half, making it half a second right now. And we're gonna have an animation that is a lot faster coming in to screen right here. You can also extend that, making it two, three, four, five seconds, so on and so forth. We can also choose to remove completely the animation in right here and we don't have any animation in anymore. And we can also choose some specific animation out. So right now, for example, if we don't want to have any animation out, we can select none, or we can select between the different other animation that are available. For example, here, zoom in, and that will give us a different type of animation compared to the in animation, as you can see. Right now, we're just getting a zoom in. As I've been playing the title, as you can see, I might have dropped a few frames from time to time right here above. That means that right now we are not cached in and DaVinci Resolve is processing the title. A quick way around it is simply to go over to playback, render cache, and then here instead of none, we want to select smart. That's gonna bring here a red bar that's gonna switch from red to blue. And when the bar is blue, that means that the title has been fully cached in and we're gonna get real time playback. So as you can see now, if I'm playing it, we're getting real-time playback without any issue. Now, going back to the modification of our title, we can, as I said, extend it or reduce it. Right now, in our case, gonna reduce it. The animation in is half a second. The animation out will therefore be half a second as well. And I want it to be in screen for maybe half a second as well. So here, I'm just gonna go and make a cut at one second and a half. And I know that it's taking half a second to come into screen half a second on screen and then half a second to go away. With that in mind, we can therefore start to create a very dynamic text animation in just a few clicks. So right now, let's just bring something new. We're gonna bring here compact and we're gonna put it right after our first title. So here we're starting with Vita Studio. I'm gonna replace the text right here in the control and we're gonna replace that with welcome to. I'm gonna increase the size. And then here we can do a bunch of other modification. I'm just gonna expand my inspector so we can see a bit more what we're doing. So we have the overall size and position of that text that we can adjust. We have the text control as I've just demonstrate. We can make an outline, for example, instead of having a fill, we can change the color. There is really a lot of things that you can modify right here. Then we have the shadow control so we can choose to add a shadow effect right behind it, or we can choose to make the text glow. So here, for example, I'm gonna increase the gain of my text and I'm gonna adjust the glow size to make it a bit more compact, increase the gain a little bit more. And now we have something that is a bit more interesting visually in my opinion. Now, another thing here, we have background. If we want to dim or first background, we can have a second opacity background. Here is gonna be black. I'm gonna increase the opacity. And as you can see, it's dimming the background that we have behind it. So that can be very helpful. For example, if you have a piece of footage that has a lot of white or that is very busy and you want your text to stand out, that's a great way to do that. There is a lot more you can do with it. For example, here, we can just reduce the width and reduce the height. And then we're gonna click invert and we're basically creating a vignette right now. I'm gonna increase the corner radius to make it a circle, and then we're gonna increase the soft edge to get a vignette. And that way we get something that is very much focused on the text. And that background is animated with the title. So that's also a great way to drive the attention only on the text. So again, those parameters like the shadow, the glow, the background are great ways for you to refocus the eyes of the viewer 
onto what matters most in that case, which is the text. So now we're going to move to our second text. And I'm going to just write here in the text control free starter pack 2.0. We're going to again increase the size. And this time I'm going to do the placement right down there because we're going to actually add a picture of the pack right here. To do that, I'm going to go to essential and we're going to bring a new element, which is right there, the text and logo shine. I'm going to bring that in. And as you can see here by default, it's text animation with a shine going on it, but we have the possibility to switch between text and logo. So right now I can bring the DaVinci Resolve logo instead, but we can change that logo for any logo that we want. So here I'm going to bring the cover of the free starter pack. To do that, I'm going to go over to logo. I'm going to do bros. And then here I'm going to bring the free starter pack image. And now we have it coming into play. As you can see right now, it's cut by the mask. So I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. So it's fitting within the mask. And then I might increase the size and position of the overall title. I'm going to just replace that properly. And then actually we're going to go back to our text and bring that down a bit more. And now very easily we've created a text animation. Welcome to the free starter pack. And as you've seen, the image that we've brought in retained that shining animation element. Now I'm not going to go through each individual asset of the pack because it will take way too long. I'm just going to cover up maybe one or two more uh, just to give you more precision on some. If you're interested, there is plenty of video on the channel where I break down most of those assets and explaining you exactly how to use them. Let me know if you would like to see a video where I'm basically doing a full project utilizing as many assets from the pack as possible and I will make that happen. All right, so here is a quick example of what you can create using some simple text animation from the pack. Obviously, there is a lot of other assets that are a lot more complex and you know that have more functionality. The kind of functionality will greatly vary depending on the asset that you're using. For example, here that call out have basically multiple title in one. You can choose to have, you know, one line, three line, etc. Uh, some of them will allow you to change completely the look of the title. So some of those titles are actually five, 10, 20 title in one. So they can be very useful and versatile. Same thing, for example, here for all icons. If you drag here the e-commerce icon, you have a drop down that allow you to toggle between different icons. So again, that's only one title here in the library, but technically it's 20 titles that you can use within one. So a lot of them have those kind of hidden functionality. I'll let you explore more about that. Also, if you want to have more in-depth video about each of those individual assets, there is plenty of video on our channel that are breaking down how to use them. Let me know if you would like to see a video again where I'm going more in depth and trying to create a big project using as many assets available in the pack as possible. Anyway, I'll let you explore that on your own. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contain over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.